Well, hello, my beautiful Torians. Welcome to my channel. This is Barbara Jolie here with your singles love reading for mid-December 2023 right through to mid-January 2024. I've already cleansed your space and I've meditated on your cards. For those of you who are returning, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for all your wonderful likes, shares, and subscribes. I am truly grateful for all your beautiful energy. Just a little reminder, though, this is a general reading, not a one-to-one -one reading, just so you're aware. Also, please be mindful, scammers are about to pretend to be me and lots of other tarot readers. I do not do personal readings. I do not take your money, e-gifts, donations. I'm not on Facebook, WhatsApp, PayPal, Telegram, or Patreon. I'll never ask you for your credit card details. I'll never ask for personal details. And I'll also never give you a cell phone number to call. So if anyone masquerading as me asks for anything at all, please report them or ignore them it is a scam okay let's move straight on with your reading i'm going to cleanse your space hourly so please be mindful there's going to be three loud sounds let us begin <laughs> Okay, my beautiful Torians, this is your singles love reading. I'm going to get your overarching energy first and follow it with a Celtic cross just to see who's coming your way. But I'm scrying in the water at the same time as doing your reading, and they're actually showing me a rose in a vase, one single rose in a vase, okay? Uh, now this could be something that you are currently arranging. Perhaps you've got one single rose in a vase or maybe it's something you're going to see. I mean, roses and flowers, they tend to indicate romance being in bloom. Um, or you are blossoming, but uh, it could be a sign or a symbol. So when you meet someone new, it could be that they've got a business and it's a logo of their business, or perhaps you're going to meet someone and you go for dinner. I mean, it's such a cliche to see like one rose, um, you know, in a vase on like a restaurant table, but I am being given it to me right now. So I have to give it to you the way that I can see it. I'm not going to make it up for you. So they're just showing me, as I said, a rose in a vase. So I'll leave it like that and move on from that image because I'm not being given anything else there. Okay. Thank you so much, spirit guys, going angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Torians? What else do they need to know regarding love? Can you please guide them for their highest good? What are they meant to see? What are they meant to be aware of for their uh, highest good? What are they meant to be um, shown at this time? Now, what I can see here is that you are coming out of a comfort zone and that you are going to influence your circumstances by doing something. You're actioning a plan or you're finding the motivation to put yourself in a situation to get out there, be a little bit more sociable. I mean, you've got the ship right at the end. So that's about taking the journey of life and love with somebody. And it's going to be a very secure relationship. But, you know, um, I will get to your cards in a moment. Yeah, there's there's love here. There's a high level commitment coming in for you. I'm just going to see how that will occur for you. Let me see. Okay, yeah. So I'm really getting a sense of let yourself be seen. Okay. That's really interesting because it's been coming up in every sign. So perhaps everyone's felt a little bit dormant recently. Perhaps everyone's been squirreling themselves away, especially since we've got things like inflation and uh, the price of things are going up. Perhaps people are, you know, in a hibernation state trying to save money at this time, build a solid foundation for your future or prepare for any economic fluctuations to come. So people perhaps haven't been getting out as much. But the energy here is let yourself be seen, especially since you have the star there. Now, your first card there is the man male or female not a gender specific reading it's about the energy and when you get the man in the Lenormand deck it means action it means putting yourself in a position to influence your circumstances so I definitely see that you are going to change something or restructure the way you operate day to day and you're going to put yourself in a position to find love now, some of you right now, you actually have options, okay? So you may be talking to uh, a person right now and you're wondering if it's going to lead to a high-level commitment relationship. I feel there's going to be a little bit more communication between both of you. You're going to get to know each other a little bit more before it turns into something serious. However, it is headed in that direction if you are wanting to know there. For th some of you, if you haven't met anyone just yet, I definitely see that you will have options. And for some of you, you're interested in two people and you're wondering who has your heart Heart. Well, you know, a very wise person once said to me, if two people have your heart and you cannot choose between them, perhaps you don't love either of them because the person that you truly, truly love, you would not see 
anybody else or you would not have feelings for anybody else. Now, of course, life is not black and white like that. We all know that. You can have some feelings for a person and whilst at the same time, you can also have feelings for another person. However, your heart knows the way. So I feel like you're being asked to follow your heart and don't lead anyone down the garden path, okay? Because karma, it does come back around. Now, I don't imagine that any of you beautiful Taurians would do that, but what I see here right now is that you are uh, in a single energy. That's the main energy I've got coming up for my beautiful Taurians, and you're currently looking for love, a high-level commitment, and you're looking for a soulmate, and your outcome indicates you're going to get a soulmate. You're going to get your wish because this is your protagonist energy. So it's about looking at your options. I feel some of you have been disappointed in love before. Some of you have felt a little bit chaotic in your world. You may have felt that you're really busy. Uh, you never have the time to focus on love. You're just busy spinning plates or adhering to your responsibilities. And some of you, I mean, the majority energy I've got here because the uh, letter is in the resistance position. So it's like you got it in the reverse. Uh, some of you, majority of you, shall we say, are not communicating with anybody and you are doing you. You're focusing on your own needs and you're putting yourself first, not in a selfish way, but in a way where you're activating self-care. You're focusing on your responsibilities, on your tasks, you know, building that solid foundation. However, love is starting to become your priority and focus. So it may be, you know, that we're winding down the year. You're looking at all the things that you've accomplished, all the things that you want to accomplish. I definitely see there's a wish a love wish coming here for you and I feel like you're vibing at a frequency where you're in the law of attraction because at grassroots this card the lover's card is about vibing with your heart what does your heart want you know visualize the sort of person you want to see enter your life and thoughts become things you're manifesting and this means matching the vibration of your heart as you can see there there's some vibrational notes okay making choices now it's really important to recognize that we are bombarded every day with news, information, uh, tasks that we have to do. And sometimes we don't leave a little pocket of silence for us to connect to our true wishes, our manifestations, because thoughts become things. So if you can find a pocket you know, of silence or a moment, even before bed, because that moment right before we go into a slumber, that's a very important time because it means we're in between worlds. We're actually telling the universe what we truly want and we're actually, you know, slipping into, um, you know, a very peaceful state where we're attracting more due to our vibrations. Now, sometimes people, when they get into bed, they think about the day they've had. They also think about um, the things they don't have or the things that perhaps happened in the past and try to resolve those things. And whilst that's really important, we need to resolve things within ourselves and heal ourselves and really find solutions to things that perhaps or on our mind, it's also very important to recognize it is a perfect time for you to visualize what you desire from the universe, what you want the universe to deliver to you. So I feel the next six weeks is going to be uh, highly important for you when it comes to the law of attraction. So if you can, you know, I feel, you know, visualizing you being with a person, the sort of person that you want to attract, not just their aesthetics, but also their mannerisms, uh, their traits, you know, honest, kind, loving, passionate, devoted person, someone who's stable, someone who knows what they want and is emotionally available to not only show you who they are, but also take the journey of love and life with you as well. Because I feel like you're attracting that person. So perhaps that's what your focus is. I'm getting the sentence, the heart wants what the heart wants, okay? And right now your heart is wanting. Now you don't need somebody. You're very self-sufficient. You're very independent, but I feel this yearning for a companion and I don't care what age you are. If you're vibing at this frequency, you're attracting the outcome, which is someone who is going to take the journey with you, okay? So this is two ships coming together. Each person has a ship. They have a journey that they're going to launch and you are coinciding with a person and you're looking in the same direction, and this is going to lead to both of you settling down, okay? Now, we do have the letter. It's in the resistance position. So some of you, uh, you may have been in a separation period for a long time, or you may have, um, you know, been single for a long time as well, because I see some of you may have broken up with someone recently and it caused a lot of chaos, or you had a high level commitment that broke down uh, a couple of years ago and you're healing from that. And because we have a Mercury retrograde, I have to mention it because it is coming up in pretty much everybody's reading. There is a high potential of a person from your past reaching out, okay? But I feel like they send you 
a very chaotic message. So they may be under the influence, not really sure what that energy is that's coming through here, but it feels like a very chaotic message they send. I feel like you are, well, I'm going to pull a card because I feel like you have a choice here. Again, you are an opposing sign to Scorpio and they had a very similar energy, which was a potential X coming through that you could heal things with that person. They have matured, but you need to make sure actions speak louder than words. You need to let them show you because I feel this person, they are maturing, but they're still very chaotic. Yeah. Uh, with the Ace of Wands there, this person is thinking about you physically as well as mentally. I feel this person still holding themselves back a little bit. They're using physical sort of signs of attraction instead of intimacy. Okay, so I feel this person, you know, they do kind of see you as wanting to settle down for the long term. However, I feel like they're not emotionally available or mature enough at this time to really open up to the love that you truly desire and deserve. However, I feel like they do want to heal a rift or they want to find a solution in some way that is coming through. Let me see true intentions. Seven of Swords. Yeah, I feel this is someone that they're not going to stick around. I feel like uh, they like their independence. Okay. I feel this person, maybe you don't trust this person, but you know, I feel some of you may be healing from this situation and you don't want to revisit it. Because I feel like sometimes you look back at this situation and how it has influenced the way you operate in love. If you've been hurt in the past, but you're not letting it have power over your future happiness, okay? So I just had to mention that it is coming up there. Uh, the Seven of Swords kind of highlights that, that there is someone that perhaps you don't trust or that you don't want to return to, um, who you feel is not capable of giving you the loving, high-level commitment you deserve. Um, and I feel like you're moving away from that, but you may hear from this person or, you know, I feel it's more that you're going to hear from this person rather than be nostalgic, Okay, I feel like, you know, this person may pop into your mind from time to time. However, you don't really tend to dwell in this person's energy. Uh, now, for some of you, because the letter energy, although it's in the reverse, it will go into the upright at the end of the six weeks. So what I'm seeing with this is they're showing me a candle and it's one of those sparkler candles. Okay, uh, not like this candle here. Uh, it's very tall and long and it's like sparkles. It's like a sparkler that you'd have, um, you know, at a bonfire, that sort of thing. So they're showing me that and that can indicate that perhaps you're going to be invited to someone's birthday or maybe an event where there are like celebrations. Uh, perhaps, I mean, it could be that you're going to go to a place where they have these sparklers, maybe even New Year's Eve, um, when you meet this person, or maybe you're going to meet this person before that, and they invite you to an event that has that there. Um, I feel the energy that they're giving me is that this person you're about to meet, they're a bit of a firecracker. They're really exciting to be with, um, but they also want to settle down. They want to find a companion. They want a soulmate. Okay. So I feel that, um, this person, look out for that kind of candle. Even if you're walking down the sidewalk and you look into the window of a restaurant and you see someone with like a candle that's like that sparkler, it's an indication to you that love is on its way to you, a soulmate, a high level commitment, okay? And you will be talking to someone very, very soon because that letter, okay, as you can see, it's number 27. Number 27, when you reduce it, 2 plus 7 is 9, the hermit energy. Some of you, uh, you haven't uh, been talking to someone for quite some time. You've withdrawn from the dating scene because there's no one really sparking your attention. And I feel like you're recharging your batteries. You're getting to know yourself a little bit more, reestablishing a relationship with yourself and your knowingness and what you deserve in life and working out what it is that you want in life as well. And I feel like you've been creating a lot of balance and harmony in your world too. Uh, but we do have this in the resistance position. So this tells me that you've had a lot of difficulty when it comes to love, maybe even disruptive people or chaotic people who come into your world. Um, also, I feel you've waited a long time for love and your patience has almost like run thin or it's like non-existent. But it's interesting because I don't feel like you're impatient. I feel like it's almost you've thought about giving up. So I feel that that's going to change for you. I feel like you're about to meet someone and it is a wish come true. I feel like you're vibing in a frequency that is attracting love, but we'll see. Yeah, it's about you've waited so long that you feel like it's not going to happen. 
Okay, but I feel the next six weeks is going to bring you a little bit of a surprise. Uh, some of you may even be traveling and you may meet this person traveling. Yeah, the three of wands there. Um, this indicates opportunities coming your way. Okay, you're on the right path. Trust the vision. Relationships are... Um, Difficult, of course, especially very difficult to find someone, but I feel the universe is orchestrating someone towards you, okay? And I feel like you have waited a long time, and that's why I get this sense like you've been waiting and waiting and waiting, and it's here, okay? I, You know, the cards don't lie, and we've got these two energies of waiting, and we've got the two of cups there, so... It tells me that you are going to attract a high level commitment. This is an understanding between people who are in love. There's reciprocity. I feel like you can trust this person, uh, this person, this new person who's coming in because the three of wands is new opportunities. You know, the universe is orchestrating a meeting and my guides really want to highlight that in this card in particular, as you can see, there's two ships there on the golden seas and you've got two ships here which tells me that the right person is being navigated towards you sometimes we meet people in our past that will teach us a lesson teach us about chaos teach us about addictions about codependency about trust issues about insecurities and we're meant to meet those people in order to erect healthier boundaries to really go through a period of enlightenment personal growth and spiritual awareness as well as to become more confident within ourselves and we have to go through the sort of mud of life to find the gem, to find the golden lesson, and then we empower ourselves, and then we are preparing space for the right person, and I feel like the soulmate is coming in for you, okay? To have these two cards... This indicates this person is someone special, this new person they're coming in, and it is a love wish. And you'll actually move in with this person um, next year, 2024, is what I see, okay? Um, oh, thank you so much. I'm truly grateful. Um, well, to be honest, that's not really what I'm seeing. They're saying 24 is important, not just for the year. 24 is important. So either you or this person, your birth date falls on the 24th of a month, or perhaps you're going to meet this person on the 24th of a month. Or maybe they live at number 24 or the last two digits of their cell phone is 24, or they work at a building that's number 24. You get the message. Um, yeah, 24 is also important, okay? Now, of course, we have the ship and the house. This is your outcome energy. Two people coming together to build a home. And I really feel that you are going to be in a high-level commitment with this person, and it's secure, okay? Um, I feel, actually, your families or the people you consider your soul tribe, they're going to mix very well. And I feel when you meet this person, you're going to have a conversation. What is that? Okay, it's it, it, the energy that I'm getting is um, you're going to meet this person when you have a conversation later down the line. I think it, about two months in, you're going to have a conversation that you have a common person in your social setting. It's a lot... It's not like in your immediate friendship circle. I feel like there's like an acquaintance that you both know, okay? And it's just a wonderful kind of synchronistic moment to let you know that the universe was always going to bring you together, okay? That there was going to be a meeting. So breathe, what is meant for you will never pass you by. There is going to be that conversation that you and this person, you know someone in common, okay? But I definitely see that two people come to build a home, and that's you and this soulmate, and it is a love wish. Uh, the star energy indicates that your hope in love will return, because I feel you've been tested in the past, and I feel some of you have almost given up on love and just been busy focusing on your responsibilities and just getting on by, because I feel nobody's been there to give you that spark, and this star energy, there's a, a lot of spark, and well, my guys just corrected me and said sparkle, sparkle, okay, so this person has a lot of sparkle to them, and I feel it's like, I mean, it's really wonderful. You could have got any card in the deck, and it's very similar to Scorpio in some way, that if you look at any of these cards, like, there's no notes. There's no musical notes or staves there, okay? Same with this one. You know, you could have got any card, but you've got three cards that it's like the musical notes are starting to form a pattern, this soul song that you are emanating out into the universe, okay? And here's the wish. So again, there's like a soul song. So I feel like whatever it is you're vibing at right now, you're attracting the one, 
Okay, now let's get straight to your Celtic cross to see who is coming your way and where you may meet this person. However, they keep showing me that sparkly candle. So, I mean, it's either at a birthday event or uh, some sort of festival where there's like fireworks or sparkles or maybe, you know, uh, New Year's Eve, for example, or maybe an event just before New Year's Eve. So let me just see. Uh, your first card is the Emperor, okay? Now, the energy I'm getting from that card is that you are mature enough to know what you want, but also I feel like you have a lot of responsibilities on your shoulders. I feel a lot of you have focused on ambition or success. I mean, it's really interesting. We've got the emperor and the man to start. They are equivalent energy. So it's really about you influencing your circumstances by taking action. You're looking to settle down. You want someone who is established in life. They've got their stuff together. Someone who knows what they want. Okay. And also I get a sense here that you are a bit long in the tooth, shall we say, to be accepting anything less than you truly deserve and desire. I feel like you are someone who perhaps looks as yourself as a little bit more mature than the people around you, and you're an old soul. And old souls, it's really hard to impress an old soul, okay? And I definitely get a sense here that um, you're saving yourself for the one. And I feel like the highest love that love has to offer is on its way for you, especially with that King of Cups in your crossing position. Uh, we do have the Eight of Pentacles there, so a lot of you are focusing on uh, repairing things in your life, you know, restructuring, but also focusing on um, yourself. Eight is the number of the self. Also, I feel like you're getting creative. You're focusing on uh, learning more about who you are. You're really the student of life. And I get a sense here that you're gaining knowledge about what you want and, you know, what kind of like sparks you to make you fly, as it were, because I feel you could be in a room with like 100 people and they're all highly attractive and all really good suitors, but you're looking for that one that captures your attention, that one that's got that spark, that something else that nobody else has. And I mean, look at that. You've got the Seven of Pentacles as well. So that tells me that you've been cultivating your landscape in some way, creating a healthier space for love to come on in. But I do feel you have some options. And I mean, we've got the Five of Swords here. We've got the Five of Pentacles. Some of you have been feeling a little bit left out in the cold and you're feeling that the universe has left you and not sent you anyone really special towards you. Um, but I feel like the best is yet to come. I feel um, the Ten of Cups there indicates they are sending you a high level commitment. Got a lot of fives in your chart, my beautiful Torians. I'm sending you a huge hug out there, okay? You've definitely been wounded in love or you've uh, been hurt with the process of love. I feel like you haven't really given up on it. However, I feel like you're very cautious, okay? Nine of Swords, there's the cautious card. Uh, let's go and see a little bit more. Page of Cups. So yeah, you've been on a real journey and a difficult one at that. I know that many, many years ago, you know, I was a very broken person by a high level commitment relationship. And there was all sorts of um, deception in that experience. And it really broke me, really tore me down, left me a shell of a person. And some of you may have gone through that. And if you've not had a relationship um, ever, I feel some of you have been a little bit um, like confused as to why no one has come on your path. And I feel uh, that you are about to meet someone who is quite magical, actually. And it's like, I feel some of you, because you're an old soul, it's really hard to connect to people on the depth that you have. And I feel like you've been on almost like a journey through life of learning about humans, about yourself. And I feel, you know, you've been establishing that sense of identity, but also that sort of like independence because you've come to this lifetime to really be very independent and I feel you're about to meet your um, counterpart. The energy is what they're giving me, counterpart, okay? So I definitely see a soulmate coming in for you, but let's get to the very beginning. This is the emperor, okay? Now the emperor is someone who has um, been through a lot in life and is someone who is very mature for their age, but also someone who is protective of their energy. So I feel like you have a lot of depth to you and I feel like you have a beautiful heart and there's this energy of you being really strong. Now the strongest people 
especially on the outside. The strongest people tend to be the softest or most sensitive people on the inside. And I feel like you've had to build like this resilience against love or life in general because you've had a difficult journey. And I feel you want someone who, you know, almost like wants to break down the walls that you've had to build because of previous experiences. Also, I want you to be aware, I mean, I mean, given that this is a rose as well, it's not in a vase, but I mean, you know, in the reverse, it kind of looks like that. So I feel like you've been through a romantic situation in the past where you felt like you loved and lost. And some of you are in a protective measure and that emperor energy represents protection. Like you're never going to let that happen to you again, okay? Um, this is a card of being serious. And you may have felt that life has got pretty serious. And you just want to open yourself up to fun, spontaneity, that playfulness. And you're kind of like done with people who are uh, promising the world, delivering nothing or hurting, you know, who are not openly available or, you know, even trying to open up to a high level commitment. You may have felt like your time has been wasted in the past, or you may feel that the dating scene is a bit of a waste because I get this sense of feeling really fed up with your options right now. And I feel like you've just been doing you, building strength, erecting healthier boundaries. But this also indicates a need to branch out a little bit. And as you can see, those branches, okay, they're bare. And these branches are also bare. So it's like, once something that was blossoming, thriving, or had a lot of potential, you feel is over. But that's not true at all. I feel like you have a lot of potential. You're still blossoming despite the lessons that you've had to learn. And even despite the experiences you've had, whether you've been in love before or not, I feel like you're opening yourself up to a new chapter in life right now. And this is a card of preparation. So I feel like you're in a really good position to influence your circumstances. Now we do have the King of Cups. As you can see, this is a crossing position. So you may have been in an experience in the past with someone who was emotionally manipulative or even abusive, okay? Someone who was narcissistic in some way. And you may be cautious about entering the love arena again. Now, of course, that's not going to resonate with everyone, but it is the highest energy that I have coming through this reading, so I have to honor it. Uh, as you can see, this figure is lifting the boat or the ship out of the water. Now, you've got a lot of ships in your water, which tells me that you're about to embark on a journey of love. However, you may be hesitant or you feel, especially with shark infested waters there, you feel perhaps there's no one that's going to uh, offer the love that you have to offer, or perhaps you feel that everybody wants something from you that's not love, or you feel that the world has changed when it comes to dating, that, you know, it seems so transient or so temporary, and you're looking for something a little bit more long-term, okay? However, you will take the journey of love. This is a very protective energy. You have a lot of love to give, and I feel like the highest love that love has to offer is available to you, okay? I feel this is um, an indication that a fairness in love is about to enter your life as well. A love that brings peace, peace of mind, someone who is loving, someone who has a lot of depth to them. They're very gentle, passionate, kind. And when I say gentle, passionate, kind, I don't mean boring or, you know, sometimes people equate stable with boring, but no, this person, they're a bit of a firecracker. They are actually really exciting to be with, but they know their mind and they are emotionally available to offer you the love that you truly want. Okay. Now my readings are not gender specific. Um, so I want you to be aware of that. What I see here is that you're calling in a very important love into your life. Someone that you will be with long term, you'll settle down with this person, marry them if you want to head in that direction. I feel like it's open and available for you there. But I feel like you're going through a period of personal development and growth, okay? You're maturing, and we have the Eight of Pentacles, which is all about learning, deep, deep down. Some of you are mending, you're healing, especially since you had the star energy there. The Eight of Pentacles is also about repair work. It's about focusing all your energy on you. Eight is the number of the self, but also it's about learning, learning about why you had certain experiences, because some of you may be asking, why am I in this position right now? Why has love not come towards me? And I feel like you're going to get some answers um, to those questions that you seek, but it's mainly to reestablish healthier boundaries. It's also about um, creating a healthy space for love so that anyone who's toxic or codependent has no access to your heart because I feel like you're done with overgiving.
okay? You may have even noticed that people that you've been in a relationship with in the past, they kind of expected you to do a lot of the heavy lifting in the relationship. You were an overgiver, and I feel like you're learning about reciprocity right now, and I feel like you're reestablishing your power. Now, we do have the King of Wands. It's in a past position. So some of you may have been connected to someone who is very uh, passionate, intense, but very physical, okay? And I feel that may have ended. Some of you have come to this reading and you've had a high-level commitment, um, really not go the way you'd hoped for, disappointed you, let you down. And I feel like you're healing from that. But the main energy I'm getting from this card, and I will pull a card on it to clarify, is that you are gaining confidence, that you are someone who is independent, uh, feisty, you're passionate, you're you're letting your passions lead you now and you're leaving the past behind. Also, you're taking ownership. So you're getting yourself out there and you're influencing your circumstances to let yourself be seen. And I feel you're looking for someone who sets your soul ablaze. Okay. And I feel like you're about to meet that person as well. So let me just pull a card on that King of Wands for you. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, God Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Tureans? What do they need to know regarding this King of Wands? Can you please guide them? Now, this person, they could have had strong Aries in their chart, but it doesn't have to be. It could be more um, that you were connected to someone who had Aries placements in some way in the past. And if you've not had a relationship in the past, it could be a father figure or mother figure, a parent or guardian type figure, because this can represent parental energy. Uh, someone in the past, when you witnessed what it means to love when you were younger, it could have influenced the way that you operate in love. Okay. So if, for example, you watch parents or guardians divorcing when you were younger, and it had a very large impact on you, it can make you feel hesitant about love long-term commitments, feeling that perhaps they don't stick around or uh, eventually things break down. So whilst those experiences, uh, they no longer have power over you, they may have shaped who you are and how you look at love. And you may actually have attracted people who are very similar and, um, you know, people who are very closed off to love at one point. But the four pentacles can indicate secure relationship. You've decided you want a high level commitment relationship, and now you're getting yourself out there and being seen. Also, you're becoming aware that you need to not close yourself off and sort of let go of the past. Anything you've been holding on to, I feel like you're letting go of it. Uh, anything that would get in the way of you meeting someone new. Okay, so you've decided you want a high level commitment relationship and I feel like you're calling in your soulmate there. Okay, this is the Queen of Cups and the King of Cups. I do apologize if you can hear um, you know, such large sound in the background. There is some crazy wind going on outside. I swear we got some sort of hurricane or something coming, but, um, you know, there's nothing on the, the news or anything or on the local station about it, so it may take us by surprise. I'm going to tap into the energy later and see what's coming, but I feel like it may be something that's just passing through. So anyway, if you can hear it and it's um, impeding the sound in some way, I do apologize. I will try to be a little bit louder and closer to the mic for you there, okay? But ultimately, as you can see, you've got a high-level commitment coming in a match. Two people who are ready for love, who recognize that love is important and are not going to take love for granted. And I feel that is who you are attracting at this time. Okay. So uh, very, very exciting there for you uh, as well. Now we do have the five of pentacles. Now this is the potential position. The five of pentacles is an interesting card because it recognizes that you have, um, you know, a lot to offer, but as you can see, this figure, they literally have like a dress on. And again, as I said, it's not gender specific. Um, you know, it's made out of a cage. So it's kind of like indicating that in some way, have you closed yourself off to love? You've decided now, because I feel like it was a new decision for you to open yourself up a little bit more, but it feels very much like some of you have been a homebody or you need to get out and, you know, peacock yourself a little bit more or take more invitations or even put yourself in a position to go out and see things that you're interested in or book yourself in a course of learning or something that you're interested in. Because some of you with the Eight of Pentacles, you may have a calling to do something where you learn new skills, upskill, or embrace an opportunity to learn a new craft, or even like take a language course. I get a sense of learning, absorbing knowledge, and I feel there is a high potential for you to meet someone through that as well. But there may be an event connected to that where you will see that sparkler, that candle sparkler, because they keep showing it to me, okay? Now also I'm going to pull a card on this uh, Five of Pentacles because it does kind of indicate something that started to blossom got 
cut short quite quickly and it may have shocked you and sometimes when we get a shock as humans we go into like a survivor mode and we kind of like keep everything at arm's length and you may have been doing that you may have been keeping love at arm's length for a while um whilst you heal so let me just pull a card on that five of pentacles thank you so much spirit guides going angels because the windows at the back there they represent light seeing visual you know so there's an energy here of enlightenment you seeing what's been holding you back or seeing something that perhaps uh, you've had difficulty with finding an alternative approach especially since your next card is the seven of pentacles nine of pentacles okay so this is about your independence some of you you know i feel like you don't need anybody you want somebody but there is a lament a sadness where you feel there has been like a deficiency of anybody to love or there's a longing that you want love but it's hard to find or meet someone new but i feel like you're breaking out of a comfort zone by enjoying your freedom and doing something for you because this is a card of independence i feel by association you'll meet someone new coming in and they are uh, a perfect match for you as well uh, we have the seven of pentacles here this is the near future seven of pentacles is trying a new approach it's opening yourself up to a new strategy okay and as you can see this figure is like holding half an apple which means you're offering a healthy relationship you've done a lot of cultivating your landscape I think I mentioned that right at the beginning there as you can see there's a rake there it's like you're not looking to connect to anybody who is toxic or you know you're looking for someone who has gone on a journey of self-discovery someone who values love and is open to taking the journey with you and I definitely get a sense here that you're not giving up on love but I feel like you're preparing the way and I feel like you're ready actually to meet love. And in the next six weeks, I feel you will have met someone that you are really curious about, someone who, you know, has your attention, captured your attention. And I feel like you're going to let go of the past because there is a brighter future for you to look forward to. Now, we do have the Five of Swords. So again, another number five. And Five of Swords is a card of defeat. Okay, so some of you may have felt it's been unfair with the experiences you've had when it comes to love. And as you can see there, this figure, the heart is mending. There's stitching there. And again, like there's a rose. I mean, the rose I saw in the vase is actually a red rose. However, there's a white rose here as well. So there's a lot of indications about this rose. So please look out for a rose with a vase in it or a vase with a rose in it, rather. Um, I get a sense here that's going to be a sign or a symbol. Uh, but also, as you can see, this figure has learnt that sometimes love can be painful, okay? But that's only the case if it's with the wrong person. And this is the ghost of the past. And this figure is turning her back on the past. And she's keeping a little piece with her, which indicates she took the lesson. And as you can see, the thorns on the um, stem of the rose, she's holding it without gloves. So she's not, you know, afraid of getting back into love. She's, you know, opening herself up because she's blossoming and learning and blooming and getting herself ready for new love. And I definitely see that that's something that you've been going through. However, I feel like you've been going through a period of finding a solution or putting the past to rest. Okay, I just feel this energy of letting go and uh, moving forward. And the Five of Swords can also kind of indicate, I'm just being given this energy of, you haven't really been looking for love. I feel like you've been doing you. And um, I feel that, you know, a lot of that energy and that mindset has been on healing or focusing on your own needs. And I feel building a life of security is wonderful. But right now, I just get this sense of you yearning for change and being the change that you want to see. Now, the external environment, this is what the universe is sending your way. Uh, these are orchestrated moments out of your control. The universe is sending you a high level commitment to be with someone long term. This is the happy ever after. This is a relationship where there's a lot of contentment, total love, true love, support, kindness, devotion, and reciprocity. And I definitely see that you and this person, you have a vision of the future and you'll face, you know, all the ups and downs together. And I definitely see that there's an attraction between you and this person. And you may even, I mean, you may even be by water when you meet this person, but I feel it's not like a prerequisite because what I'm seeing here is um, they're showing me like a fish tank. Okay, even though I'm holding this, I mean, if you look at it like this, it does kind of look like a fish tank. But in the water, because I'm scrying at the same time, I see a fish tank. 
So either this person has pets that are fish or you have a fish tank yourself or either you go to a restaurant or an event that has like an aquatic system that you can see. I mean, you may even meet this person if you meet this person like and go on a date with them at like, uh, you know, an aquarium. So there's something there. It may not resonate with everyone, but I'm just being given it as a sign for you. Even though, I mean, it could connect to plenty more fish in the sea. And um, that also came up in the Scorpio reading as well. So there may be some sort of correlation. Uh, we do have the Five of Cups. Now, this is a very important card because you have got a lot of fives in your reading, which tells me love has been difficult, right? But if you're going to get a five in any of the suit, you want it to be in this one because the Five of Cups indicates, yes, there may have been experiences that have left you longing, left you disappointed, but the universe is sending you another opportunity. Normally in the Five of Cups, there is a figure lamenting all that has gone wrong and also to the point where the figure has lost the taste for love, okay? Because experiences have come by and been disappointing or have not met their expectations. And the universe is sending an opportunity to be in a high-level commitment and it's going to be even more emotionally rewarding than ever before. I'm just going to get that Five of Cups for you to see. Can you show me where the Five of Cups is? Thank you so much. Um, but the figure is not aware of it yet. And I feel the same with you. You can't see how love is coming into your world right now, but there's going to be a bit of a surprise. And suddenly love is going to be by your side and it's going to develop into something really special. But I feel like you're not looking for it when you meet this person. Oh, I, I did get the message. It's at the beginning. So unless I missed it, this really isn't the beginning. And I've gone past these cards, five of cups. Uh, you may want to fast forward this part. I don't want to waste your wonderful time. Five of cups, five of cups. If it's right at the beginning, I just literally looked at these. Oh my gosh, it's literally right at the beginning. I thought they meant, because I'd just been here. So I thought that, you know what? Okay, thank you so much. I'm truly grateful. Um, I misunderstood. So here we go, as you can see. And I know you all know the Five of Cups anyway, but the meaning behind this card is that this figure has lost the taste for the wine or the wine is spilt and it's just not what the person expected. They feel disappointed and they can't see how the universe is going to show up for them. And I feel this is something that perhaps you've been experiencing. The universe is going to send a high level commitment. Love is available to you again and you will not be disappointed. Your hope in love will return. Now... This is a hope and a fear position. So it does tell me that some of you have been let down in the past and you're hoping that love does not let you down again because some of you may feel that you're at a certain age where, you know, it's like, if it doesn't work out this time, I'm leaving it, forget it, okay? You're not interested. But I definitely get a sense that this time, this is the one, okay? And um, your outcome energy, we have the nine of wands. Now the double nine there, Nine of Wands is the wounded warrior, someone who has been through disappointment or found things difficult. The Nine of Wands also is a card of caution. So I definitely see that um, you will take a gentle step into love. You are being encouraged to take a leap of faith. However, I feel like it will be a very organic relationship. And again, look at this, the rose. So there's something about roses going on there. I mean, it could be that this person, when you meet them, you find out that their uh, parent or guardian was called Rose, or I feel it's symbolic more than anything, but I feel like things will blossom for you once more. And the Nine of Swords is also, you know, if you've been betrayed in the past, it is a card of, you know, you being hesitant or having trust issues and remaining cautious in the relationship at the very, very beginning. But the Page of Cups here is like, you're going to get a surprise in love. This person is you know, open, playful, is someone who has a lot of fun, but also it's the beginning of intimacy. This person, this new person truly wants to get to know you. And I feel like they know that they are entering into a love situation right from the very beginning, even though I feel like you're going to be a little bit more cautious than this person. Okay, my beautiful Torians. Um, now I'm going to pull a card on those double nines because it can also indicate that some of you are really busy and you just don't have time for love, but you need to make some readjustments to your schedule in order to prepare the way because love is coming in for you, okay? Some of you may even help out at like a charity event or um, you may even help a friend out in some way and you meet a person doing that, but I definitely get a sense that it's a surprise. Oh gosh, <laughs> just 
just made the connection. I'm a little bit slow today. The fish tank, and there's a, a fish literally popping out of the page of cups. Um, the six of pentacles, yeah, that really indicates that you may be helping out a friend, okay? But also I feel it's a message there about reciprocity and not overgiving. But I feel like the universe is going to send you a surprise. Six of pentacles, it literally means an unexpected resource from the universe. And I feel the universe is stepping in to bring you somebody. And although you may have felt like you're left out in the cold or the universe has forgotten about you, I feel like the universe is now stepping up, coming on in and delivering you the love that you truly deserve and desire. Okay, this is your outcome. It's your last card. Page of Cups, love is coming in. And you will be talking to someone new very, very soon in the next six weeks, okay? Uh, I'm just going to go and get some final cards before I uh, close your reading. They want one more. Okay. Wow. Uh, this deck, it literally gave me cards that indicate what I said, okay? You've got commitment, high-level commitment coming in there. So you will marry this person if that's what you're hoping for. If not, you'll definitely move in together. Um, so if you're not one to get married, but I definitely see number five is the Hierophant. That is a marriage card, a traditional uh, engagement, you know, marriage. And I feel like you will commit to this person long-term. And also this person, they're supportive. This person, you know, they're sent by the universe, and I feel like the universe has your back. It's number four, which is, um, you know, connects to the house energy, which is about a foundation of love, support, devotion. And I feel you and this person, you know, this is the one. This is your soulmate. This is a union that will last the test of time. And I'm just going to go and get a trinket before we close. Okay. Aha. You know, it's really weird because I heard a sentence, this person is in your DNA, but I didn't say it, so I can't really call it. So we'll dismiss that, but it was definitely there. Okay, and they gave me the DNA strand. Okay, so I feel this person, they are meant to be with you. And I feel um, if you want to settle down and have a high level commitment relationship and build a family and a home with this person, I feel like it, it's, it's there for you in this person. Also, I feel, as I said, there's someone you both know. It's an acquaintance. I mean, it could be like a family uh, member that is like connected in some way. I don't feel like you're related. Don't freak out. Uh, I feel it's like perhaps they know your family member, but I feel it's more like they know someone you know, and it's a friend, I feel. So um, I just wanted to give you the energy that I've got coming through and cover all bases, but I feel it's more friendship there. Um, but I do feel that you and this person, you're made for each other. It's like entwined. I'm getting this energy of entwined. Also, some of you, especially if you're religious, they may share the same religion as you, okay? But this is the Anka, which is really about you know, uh, respect, devotion, and uh, following your true path and having faith as well. And we have the mirror. So some of you have been blocked from love for a while because it's a period of self-reflection. And I feel also that aesthetically, you and this person, you are a match. You're highly attractive and magnetic. And I feel both of you in some way have had a very similar journey in life. It's almost like a reflection of each other. I feel both of you have got a lot of similarities as well, but you will talk about a lot of commonalities. And later on, you'll actually see that, wow, we were always meant to find each other because there was always going to be a common link between you both that will bring you together eventually, okay? So it was just a matter of divine timing. I'll leave it there, my beautiful Taurians. I hope something resonates in this reading for you. If it does, please like or subscribe to my channel. Completely free for you. All you have to do is press a little bell that lets you know when I update my next message or lets me know that you resonate with the reading, which is so important for me too. Thank you so much, my beautiful Taurians, and love and light.